Hello guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.13 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is the probability distribution of X, the number of imperfections per 10 meters of a synthetic fabric in continuous rolls of uniform width is given by this table. Okay, so here the values of X are given and the corresponding values of the F of X f of x are also written beneath these values okay so what do we have to do we have to construct the cumulative distribution functions of x okay so in order to do so let me write the solution of it this is the solution and let me choose this color black in order to do so let me have this graph okay so this is the CDF graph and in order to plot it and do it, first of all, let me write all the values of X here or this X axis. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, 3 and 4. Okay, These are all the values of X and this is F of X. In order to find the values here, let me write all these values with this blue color and for first, for the zero, the value of fx is 0 0.41 and let me write it here, this is 0 0.41, okay. And it will proceed unless and until we will reach this value one, okay. So when I will reach one, what will happen this value which is 0. 4, 1, this will be added with the value uh, at 1 which is 0 0.37 okay so let me add them together here and here we will get 8 7 and 0 0.78 okay so therefore it will become 0 0.78 here okay and from here onwards up to this 2 it will be 0.78 okay so when it will reach this 2 the value at 2 is 0.16 okay so let me add with this 0.78 with this 0.16 okay so adding them together what i will get this is 4 this is 9 and here we will get 0.94 so let me have here 0.94 okay so at this 2 what will happen it will jump to 0 0.94 okay so it is 0 0.94 and it will be 0 0.94 until and unless we will reach this 0 point sorry this 3 okay the value of x equal to 3 now uh, we can also let me uh, also give them here this is here this is here okay so uh, when we will reach this 3 what will happen the value at 3 is 0 0.05 0 0.05 let me add them together and it will become 0 0.99 okay so here let me have here 0 0.99 okay so after it it will be what it will be let me have here it will be 0 0.99 until and unless we will reach this 4 and at 4 we can see that the value is 0 0.01 so when it will be added with this 0 0.99 what will we get here the value of it will become 1 okay so at the end we will get here this 1 and afterwards it will be here 1 as well okay so what is this this is basically the cdf plot and basically this one is not small of f small f of x but this is basically the capital f of x because by convention f of x is basically the pdf while capital of it which is this one this is the cdf okay or cumulative distribution function so now in order to write it mathematically let me write here the value of x and here we have different values the first value it has is zero which is for what which is for all the values which are less than zero okay similarly we have here 0 0.41 
for which values we can see that it ranges from 0 to 1 and all these values will range from x equal greater or equal to 0 and less than 1 ok unless and until it will reach this 1 the value of it will become 0 0.78 which I have told you that this is by adding them and here this x will range from 1 greater or equal to 1 and less than 2 because it, here we can see that this is the range ok. Now here after it we have got 0 0.94 and this range is from 2 to 3. Okay, we can very easily see that this is the range. Okay, so now after it we have 0 0.99 because now here these two are added together. So 0 0.99 for x greater or equal to 3 and less than 4. Okay, this is the range and afterwards when it will reach this point which is basically 1 here and this will always be x is greater or equal to 4 and this is what we have. So, now in order to write it what we can do here we can see that these are all the values which are for x f of x ok. So, these are all the values for f of x and this is what this is the CDF of the question we were asked ok. So, that is enough for today in which we have seen the cumulative distribution plot ok uh, for the PDF which is given in the form of this table. So, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box. So, that is enough for today and I will see you soon.